You're watching Channel 21 WCAT, the station for the Pine Lands Regional Area. Wow, this place looks cool, man. Hey, what is that guy doing? Wow. Hey, look at those decoys. Hey, look at those duckies. All right. Wait a second, man. Where the heck am I? What you're probably wondering right now is, what is all the excitement about? Well, this is what it's all about. It's the 1995 Duck and Decoy Show. I'm standing here with Erica Woodworth from uh, East Brunswick, New Jersey. Erica, how long have you been coming to the Bayman, uh, to Barnegat Bay uh, Decoy and Gunning Show? About six years now. Okay, and uh, do you have any? Uh, do you have you have many interesting items right here? Uh, can you can you mention a couple of them first? Sure. We have uh, swans and Canadian ca Canada geese and herons. We have all kinds of things: cows and pigs and everything else. Um, what's the what's the uh, most the interesting item? Uh, do you work on these? Do you work on these items? Uh, actually, all I do is finish and paint them. I buy them from several carvers, and then you know I sell them at the show here, unfinished and and finished too. Okay. Uh, what's your what's your favorite what's your favorite uh, particular favorite item that you like? Um, probably a pig. <laughs> <laughs> you know, over there you can see the painted pigs. I have flowers on the rear end over there, right. and crackled and I don't know. I, I like them all. You know, I talk to each one every morning. <laughs> well, that's cool. Thanks very much, Erica. You're welcome. All right. Now, uh, thank you very much. All right, I'm I'm standing here with uh, Tim Holler. What? Tim Holler. Okay. And where are you from? Uh, Bricktown, New Jersey. All right, that's cool. And uh, and you? Gary Bell from Bricktown, New Jersey. Okay. Do um, you both uh, work together on the? Uh, on the decoys, yeah. We both uh, gunners and or hunters, and we uh, all our decoys here are what we use out in the field to shoot, and then we uh, we sell them. You know, for a couple of bucks here to make more material, for get more money for materials uh, for next next year's rig. Okay. And uh, how how long have uh, how long have you been here? Like how many years? Is this your first year, or how how many years have you been doing this decoy show? Uh, about four or five years now. We've been doing this. Yeah, this is a real nice show. It shows a lot of the American history that's going on. Something that we're constantly losing in today's society is the Americana. Uh, this is a lot of history right here in the decoys, uh, showing the past on hand carving and uh, the hunting techniques. And uh, they got the dogs working up here at the show. A fantastic show. Uh, a lot, a lot of American history right here. Um. Yeah, it looks like you have very uh, interesting items right here. Uh, could you mention a few of them? Yeah, we have, uh, let's see, we've got Gary Bell. He's got his uh, Garvey over here, his Garvey sneak box there that you're looking at right now. We have a couple of decoys there. Uh, here, if you want to come over here. A couple of decoys here, hand carved like a broad bill right here with lead weights and uh, leather tongs where you put your um, the anchor anchor line on there and uh, throw these out there. Broad bills are more the merrier, they say. Uh, got a canvas back style decoy right here. That's another old fashioned bird there, flat bottom. Okay. And then uh, also, that's what the market gunners used to do there when they used to hide the, the birds for the limits there. They would have a goose here. As you can see, I'm holding it upside down here. Is uh, they would take and put their extra birds that they shot over the limit and put them in this trap door and then put it back out there with maybe a couple birds underneath there. And when the game wardens came, they had no idea that the uh, illegal birds would be in the uh, hollowed out decoy here. You see that flips right over there and buckles down. Game warden wouldn't even have a clue. <laughs> All right, uh, what's uh What's your uh, what's your favorite item? Uh, either one of you. So, uh, do you have a favorite item? Uh, yeah, I'm a Brant here. I got a. Uh, let's see. Right, let me put this down here. Okay. Let's see, we got a Brant here with uh, 
I kind of use a technique here, as you see, a long keel with a lead weight in it. I, you could throw this bird in upside down, and it'll upright itself. And that's an old-fashioned style used down in actually Susquehanna Flats in Maryland. Mm -hmm. And I just improvised it on my bird there. Uh, the Brant, a pretty nice bird there. Another bird that you should put a lot out to draw them in. Uh, let's see. Then the lead weight I made out of a, using a one-inch elbow, a little ingenuity here, old-fashioned ingenuity cut the elbow right at the at the cross there and open it up and pour my lead weight in there. Everything's all handmade. The lead weights are made out of a jello mold here with copper wire on it, all the oil oil paints and everything. Uh, cheap with the American history is what we try to do. That's probably about my favorite birds to brand I like the brand a lot. Oh okay. And uh, what about what about your what's your favorite? Probably the canvas canvas back. There's uh, one over here. Let's see uh it's, it's just, you know, it's a bird they used to use market hunting years ago. Uh, this is a newer one. Usually the older ones were round bottoms. But this is like the bird they, you know, used to get a lot of. You know, you used to see a lot of them. But that's about my favorite bird. Well, thanks very much. I've been standing here with, uh, can you please tell me his name again? Yeah, sure. Tim Holler. I just want to say hi to everybody out there at Tucker. And you got a real nice show here. And keep up the good work, guys. Thanks. Thanks very much. Appreciate yeah, it very much. Shake here. Huh? <laughs> yeah. And, uh. We're also standing here with okay Gary Bell, and thanks for uh, interviewing us here, and uh, we hope you have a good time at the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now let's head on out to the lake to check out the preliminary ski shoot from a sneak box. Hey, hope you enjoyed it. That was the preliminary ski shoot from a sneak box. Now let's go back on out to the field to get some more interviews. All right, I'm standing here with? Uh, my name is Street Whiteford. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from uh, Towson, Maryland, and I have a company called Chesapeake Cork Products, and we sell cork to make uh, gunny decoys out, and we sell all over the United States and uh, Canada. And we're the largest seller of cork uh, in the country. Oh. And I come up here every year to the Koi Show. And this is one of the best shows I go to in the country. And standing next to me is Ed Braun. Okay. And he's a carver. He uses my cork. And he might be able to show you some of the birds, the finished product that he has. And he's from here in New Jersey. Okay. All right. Uh, could you show us some of the, uh, some of the items? This is a black duck sleeper. That is one of the first birds I've uh, done. Okay, not this bird in particular, but this is a style that everybody seems to like. Uh, it's his cork. It's a basswood head, all right, all hand-painted, hand-carved. That's out of the black cork that he sells. And the, the other cork, which is this cork down here, which is the red cork, is what this bird's made out of. This is a Drake Mallard, and you can see you can kind of fill that in pretty good and paint it, and it comes up pretty darn nice. Uh, I have a small company called DD Decoys. I'm from Collingswood, New Jersey. Phone numbers. If anybody's interested, all my cork comes from uh, Streets Company. All right, which is good quality. Uh, you know what else I can tell you? You know, the, the cork is the cork is easy to paint on. This cork here, this cork over here. When I when I do that, I fill that before I uh, paint on it. But uh, that's basically what we do. Okay. Um, now, uh, how many? Uh, how, how many of you, what? What? Like you've been you've been in the business. How long have you been in the business? I've been doing this since the 1984, 1985. Right? And what we are basically is a do-it-yourself mail or catalog company. In other words, we have the basic products and we sell to people, as I said, all the United States and Canada. And they, it's a do-it-yourself. They make their own cork decoys. And I'll explain, if I may, a little bit about cork. It comes, this is a raw cork from the bark of the cork tree or the cork oak tree. We get our cork by the container load, container load excuse me, from Europe. Uh, over in Europe, they'll take this cork, the raw bark, they'll grind that up, 
And in this case, for this cork that we call Chesapeake cork, they put this in a mold. The mold is uh, 10 inches high, and it's 25 and a half inches wide, 37 and a half inches long. And then they put a polyurethane binder in here, and it goes in the mold, and they stir that up, and that'll cure very, very um, slowly so you don't get a glob on the inside. They take it out of the mold and they cut it to any pre-designated thickness. It can be the size of your little finger or up to 10 inches. But we bring in four, five, and six inches, and that's the most preferred cork for ducks. Now, this other cork, the dark cork that Ed was showing you a moment ago, is made of the same material, but what they'll do, they take the cork granules, they put in what's called an autoclave. And an autoclave is a steamer and a cooker. And they'll press a button, it goes up to 200 degrees centigrade. And at that time, the resin in the bark of the granules acts as the binder for it. And the binder cools down and that's what holds it together. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thanks very much for, for showing us how, how about Quirk and everything like that. Uh, um, could you tell us your name again, please? Yeah, my name is Street Whiteford and I'm the owner of uh, Chesapeake Decoy Company. And my phone number in, in Baltimore is 1 800. Thanks very much. And uh, your name again is? Ed Braun, Collingswood, New Jersey. And what, what, do you work, what place do you work for again? One, one more time? Uh, my company's called DD Decoys. Okay. No problem. Thanks very much and uh, appreciate it very much. You're welcome. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Hi, I'm with uh, Clarence Venemore. Uh, okay, from Jacobstown, New Jersey. Okay, um, how are you doing today? Fine. Okay, um, how long have you been here at, for the decoy show? I guess, uh, I don't know, five, six years, seven years, I lose track. About seven years, I guess, we've been doing it. We've been in this spot four or five years now. Okay, uh, what, uh, I see you got a lot of interesting items. Could you show us a couple of them? Okay, the the birds that you see here in the front uh, are old birds. It's front row here, and uh, by, by old birds I mean antique decoys. And then further down the table, these are contemporary or new decoys. Uh, the loon, the cormorant, they're more of a table bird, you know, a cocktail table bird than they are a hunting decoy. The ones on the shelf here are all Hurley Conklin birds, and uh, they're all considered to be antique birds at this time, even though some were made in the 60s. So I sell a combination of old and new. Some I make, some I buy, and some are just antiques. What's the oldest one that you have, that, even if it's not in this collection, What's the old, or, or even in this collection too? In this collection here uh, on the table, there's some birds from around 1920. The oldest birds that I have are around uh, 1910. But it's common to see a lot of birds on that other table over here. We got a lot of birds from 1920s. That's probably the most common error for the older birds, the 20s and the 30s. Uh, what's your uh, favorite? What's your favorite uh, decoy? Well, decoys uh, are broken down into regions, and there's the Upper Bay and the Lower Bay. All speaking of Jersey now, there's also Chesapeake Bay birds and so forth. And then there's what they call the Delaware River birds, and I like Delaware River birds. That's my favorite kind. No problem. Thanks very much, um, Clarence. Is that, that You're welcome. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And uh, we're going to get on moving now to check out some more shots. Now let's move on out to the food court to check out what's moving out on the grill. As I checked out with this one kid, finding out what he had to say. Well, why did you come on over here checking, checking it out? Because I smell food. That was what was definitely cooking up on the grill, as Carlos the Cook explains. Barbecue chicken. Only available at the deep boy show. Look at that. We're here every year. You can't beat this. Five dollars, you get a whole chicken platter. We also raffle off two TVs. Look at that. A 19 inch and a 27 inch. And now let's go on out and get some interviews from the food court. I'm standing here with two students from our uh, Pine Ridge Regional High School. Uh, first of all, I uh, just want to uh, catch your names. Chris Ann Malone. Okay, and? Tara Starr. All right. And uh, wh where are you from? What town? Well, obviously Tuckerton. <laughs> Tuckerton. Same old thing, yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> is this your first visit to the Bay, Bay uh, Decoy and Gunning Show? No, it's like my fourth. <laughs> and about you? I come like every year. <laughs> That's good. Um, are you having fun? Yeah, it's alright. We're going to the football game after this though. Oh. Going to see Lacey beat. Oh, I mean Pinelands beat Lacey. <laughs> oh. oh. Um. <laughs> okay. Um, are you having fun? Yeah. It's fun. Okay. And uh, what's your favorite event or, uh, or do you like uh, the whole entire uh, show? Oh, I like the doggies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't, know. You. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I just walk around and see everybody. Okay. And uh, I don't know if this question pertains to you. I guess you're just a looker. But uh, are you a hunter or collector or just m m checking this checking this out? Just checking everything out. <laughs> and how about you? I'm a looker. <laughs> okay. All right. No problem. All right. From uh, from the food court right here at the decoy show. This has been Mitch McKeever, and I'll uh, talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, how you doing? I'm standing here with Louise and Ron Hamill. Uh, f uh, they're checking out the uh, decoy show. Uh, first of all, um, could you just tell us uh, what town you're from? Of course, probably. I'm from Tuckerton here, this big town of Tuckerton. Mm -hmm. And uh, is this your first time visiting the Barnegat uh, Bay Decoy and Gunning Show? No, it's not. Uh, I'm on a committee here, uh, at the show committee here. Oh. And I, I judge here also. Oh, that's good. Um, are you having fun right now? Pardon me? Are you having fun right now? Oh, yeah, loads of fun. This is the biggest turnout I've seen uh, in, uh, since I originated. Okay. And uh, what's your favorite event, or, or do you like the whole entire uh, show? Well, my favorite event is the Retriever Contest. It, it seems to stimulate a lot of interest uh, of the young people and, and old people alike to watch the puppies and, and the bigger dogs go through their performance of retrieving uh, dummies. Um, um, are, you, are you a hunter or a collector, or are you just uh, checking this out? I hunt, I carve, I collect, a little bit of everything, and I, 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 you know, I love all aspects about it. All right, well, what's your what's your favorite favorite events? Uh, I mean, like, I mean, as of being, you know. Well, I like uh, the contests, uh, the decoy rigs, which I have one out there this year. I don't know if I'm going to do anything or not, but I have one out there. Uh, the contemporary. A little bit of everything. I, I, I just love it, just being out here outdoors and, and it's nice weather. How about, how about you? What, what, do you? what are your favorite events? Do you have any? Mm, the decoratives. The decorative decoys. I like that. Because that shows the best work, you know. Uh, the, the fanciest, the nicest. The, I, I like that the best. Well, thanks very much. Uh, this has been the, the, with the Hamels. I'm, I'm Mitch McKeever for Channel 21 WC18 and I'll see you later. Hi, I'm here with Jack Vera. Uh, Jack, where are you from? Oak Ridge, New Jersey. Okay. Um, is this your first time visiting uh, the Fourth. D? Fourth time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are you having fun? Oh yes, we just got here though. Okay. Um, what's your favorite event uh, that you that you if? We like to watch the dogs work. Okay. Um, are you a hunter or a collector or just a looker? I'm a carver. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, uh, what do you find? Uh, what do you find fascinating about this uh, show? It's good. There's just so much to it. It's probably one of the biggest. Well, it is the biggest in the state. And one of the biggest on the East Coast, even wow. after the one in Eastern Maryland. Oh, okay. And how uh, how how is it uh, with you? I mean, have you enjoyed it in the past years that oh, you've yes. come? That's why we keep coming back every year. So, proven fact that. People come back because it is such a great show. From uh, WCAT, this is Mitch with Jack Vera. Right. Okay. Jack Vera. All right, you take care, and I'll see you there. Thanks. Thank you. Now it's time to move on back out to the lake to check out the Novice Retriever Contest.
Hey, hope you enjoyed it. That was the Novice Retriever Contest. Now let's move on back out to the field to get yet another interview. I'm with Jim Estelle from Mayetta, New Jersey. Jim, how you doing? Hi. All right. Um, first of all, I just want to ask you a, qu a couple of questions. Uh, how long have you been uh, coming to the Bay uh, Decoy and Gunning Show? Ever since it started. Uh, how long ago did it start? I guess it's been, uh, geez, I really don't know, six or seven years now? Wow. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Um, do, do you find this uh, very interesting uh, being over here? Oh, it's interesting to the history of the area and uh, to collecting decoys and seeing all aspects of uh, the Bayman's tradition. And uh, how, how have you? Uh, what are the interesting items? Could you tell us some of the items that you uh, you uh, well, show? Well, I have some boat lanterns that uh, date back to the 1900s, and uh, some of them are early 1900s and 1930s. There's uh, fishing reels, there's artwork, there's prints, there's ammo boxes, uh, decoy weights. I just have a variety of items uh, that all relate to the bay and the meadows. Uh, what, do you, what do you find? What's the, uh, what, do you, what is your favorite type of uh, the one that you have? Uh, I would say here on the table one of my favorites would be uh, I have a carved uh, mallard by Jim West, mm -hmm. who uh, had once lived in Bordentown, but now he lives in Tuckerton. Oh, wow. He's uh, a carver that uh, is pretty inactive now. He's kind of retired from it, but he carved many nice birds, and he now resides in Tuckerton. All right. Well, that sounds sounds, sounds great. All right. Well, thanks very much. Uh, could you tell me your name again, please? Uh, my name's Jim Estelle. I live in Mayetta. I'm an antique dealer, and anybody who wishes to uh, to have me appraise or look at their antiques that may be for sale one day, uh, I'm always available. I live in uh, Mayetta, which is the town that's about five miles north of here. Okay. Well, thanks very much. Appreciate it very much, and good luck to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, fellas. Now it's time to move on out to the shuttle bus area to get another interview. All right, I'm standing here in front of the uh, shuttle bus pickup with uh, Al Rutledge. Al, where are you from? I'm from uh, Bayville, New Jersey. Okay. Um, um, is this your first visit to Barnegat Bay Decoy and Gunning Shop? No, I've been coming for maybe about 10 years now, and I uh, really enjoy it. It's getting bigger and bigger. Um, are you having fun? Yes, excellent. I usually, uh, well, I'm a hunter, and I like to uh, check out the decoys and buy any any kind of a decoy, you know, that's reasonable in that. And uh, for the past few years, I've been buying nice uh, groups of them, and I hunt right at, down in Barnegat Bay or uh, down by Leeds Point in Atlantic City for snow geese. And uh, I've been hunting, geez, since I was about 10 years old, and... Uh, my whole family's into hunting, especially my sons and that. Okay. Uh, what's your uh, favorite event, or do you just like the whole entire show? I like the whole entire show. I like the, especially all the hunting uh, shows that they have out there with training of the dogs and uh, the skeet shoot. And it's, it's nice that they have young kids uh, learning how to shoot and uh, have a dog to train to go out into the water and that. All right, well, uh, thanks very much, Al. Appreciate it very much. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Okay. okay. Mitch, uh, standing right here with Al Rutledge, and I'll see you later. Since we still have some time left, let's go on back to the food court to get a couple more interviews. I'm standing here with Jackie and Jack Britton. Uh, how how you doing today? Hi, doing fine, thanks. Uh, First of all, where are you, where are you uh, from? From Powhatan, Virginia. What, what, again? Powhatan, Virginia. Oh, wow. Whoa, coming from all over the place right now. Um, is this your first time that you've uh, come to the show? or? No, we've been here several times before. Okay. Um, are you having fun right now? <laughs> yeah, having a good time. What's, uh, 
your favorite event, or do you like the whole entire uh, show? Oh, we like it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all right. And uh, are you, are either are either you a uh, hunter or a collector or just a looker? Uh, I'm a looker, and he's a hunter, collector, and carver. <laughs> what, do you, what do you find most fascinating about this, uh, about being here? I think the uh, wide variety of decoys and hunting-related artifacts. No problem. Well, thanks very much. Uh, this has been Mitch, Mitch uh, standing here with, uh, again. Jackie. And? Jim Britton. All right. Thanks very much, and... Uh, Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Good luck with your station. Thank you. How you doing? Mitch again right here, standing with uh, Bill Meyer. Uh, Bill, how you doing today? Just fine, thank you. Okay, uh, uh, Bill, where did you come from? Uh, to California. The California? Yeah. Wow. And uh, is this your first time showing over here? First time I've been to this show, yes. I'm from New Jersey originally and uh, spent a lot of years in Long Beach Island, but uh, so I'm back here a little business and vacation. That's good. Uh, what do you find? Uh, what do you find about? Uh, have you enjoyed it so far? Oh yeah, it's wonderful. Quite a show. Um, what, what do you find? Uh, from what do you? What's your favorite event? Well, we just just got here about a half hour ago, so we were over watching the dogs primarily. They're, they're really neat to watch the retrievers. All right, uh, uh, and are you a, a hunter or a collector or just a looker? No, just kind of a looker. <laughs> no problem. Thanks very much. Uh, your name again? Bill Meyer Thanks. from Los Angeles, California. Bill Meyer from Los Angeles, California. There we go. There we go. Long ways. <laughs> yes, very much so. From WCAT, this is Mitch, and I'll talk to you later. All right, well, that's it for the 1995 decoy show. Let's recap what we just saw. Uh, we saw some nice vendors that have been uh, showing us some great decoys and uh, some great uh, works and of carving that they've done. And a lot, a lot of other things, too, such as the uh, special events that were happening out there uh, back, back by, the, uh, by the water, by the lake. And, uh, and of course, the food court right here. Yeah, uh, well, sounds like a good thing. I gotta, gotta get on out of here. It's time to end the show. All right, I uh, hope you enjoyed the show for now. This is Mitch McKeever. I'm gonna get myself something to eat. You take care, and I'll see you later. All right, thanks very much, sir. Yeah.